Hey guys, so it's the day of the Dickens Fair. I'm so excited. Um, and I've already started getting ready, get my hair and curlers and my bun in. And so I'm just going to go over what I'm going to put on and then you get to see the final result because it'd be weird to put a video of me dressing on YouTube. Anywho, so um, the layers I'm going to wear is first I'm going to start with my tights. There's like stockings, but I'm cheating using stretchy tights, but they look actually very much like it, so it works out. And then I'm also going to put on my um, chemise thing that's going to go under my corset. And then my bloomers right here. And um, I'm going to put all that on and then my shoes and then my corset because according to the Dickens Fair website and from what I've read and stuff, you put on your shoes first, then your corset. And so the, after putting my shoes on, I'll put on my corset and then um, get over here. And then after putting all that on, I start putting on my hoop skirt and my other petticoat. <laughs> I have two. And then I'm going to put on my corset cover, this thing, so that my corset doesn't show through my shirt. And then, nope, hoop skirt's getting big. See? Big skirt. And then I'll put on my blouse, which I modify the back a little bit to hide the modern zipper. And then I'm after putting on my blouse, I'm going to put on my Medici belt, which I made. You'll see it when it's on. And then my day cap, which is this little bit of fluff I also made. Isn't it pretty and fancy? Um, and then after that, oh, and my day gloves. After that, I am dressed to be indoors. Without, without all those items, I am technically not entirely dressed, like running around with a shirt for girls or pants with guys. Anyways, point being, you need all of that to be properly dressed. Then when I go outside, oh, the one important thing, the skirt, speaking of not having the bottoms on, that is also required to be dressed for indoors. And that's my skirt. After the skirt and dress and everything, skirt goes before the belt. After all that, to be dressed for outside, I have my outdoor kid gloves. I have my cloak, which the last video showed me making. And it's pretty. You see, there's the one the frogs. I love it. And then matching, I made a matching bonnet with the material from the same satin as the skirt and the velvet I used in the cloak and ruffles. And then in addition to that, I made myself a muff, which is nice. And on the inside, you can't, I have to pull it up. I sewed in a drawstring bag that I made out of the same material as the lining satin, which is the same as the trimming on the bonnet and the skirt and the uh, belt. And so with all of that, I will be probably dressed for outdoors. The Victorians wore a lot of stuff. And I'm cheating and using some thinner materials than they wore. I'm so glad also that this is late enough in the Victorian era where I'm not wearing a million and one petticoats. I'm wearing a hoop skirt and a petticoat, just two. But anyways, so it's going to be awesome. I'm so excited. I'm going to post a picture later of myself dressed and then one of my... Actually, I'll put it, post it later. I'm putting this video. In this video, I'm with a video of me dressed. The, yes, video of me dressed and then I'm going to add a picture at the end of my entire family all costumed up. It's going to be awesome. So anyways, I'm looking forward to it and I'll go get dressed and see you in a second. Hey, so I'm dressed. What do you guys think? Um, I feel very fancy. I, this just extends down and goes out a lot. Um, and I have my bonnet, my cloak, uh, and my fur muff and all my gloves. And so I'm going to put that on and go to the fair. And so I'll have a picture for you all of in just this outfit and also in the complete fur muff and cloak and everything outfit. So yeah, I'm so excited. All right.